Hello, I'm Kayo Detadeshe and I welcome you to uh, today's episode of Abundant Life Today um, podcast and broadcast. And um, again, I thank God for the opportunity that he has given to us to share, um, to share with you. Um, in our last broadcast, um, we were uh, learning about the power of a new beginning. And um, even as we celebrate the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, in this season, one of the most powerful lessons and one of the most powerful instructions that we can receive from the Word of God and from the advent of the Lord's um, uh, resurrection from the dead is the power of a new beginning. That just about when the enemy thought he had it all done, when he thought he had it all covered, he thought he had shut down God's plan for the redemption of man, here came the Lord Jesus Christ right back from the dead and he took the victory from him and now you and I have the opportunity to be just like him, uh, just like the Lord Jesus Christ. So praise God for the power of a new beginning. Now, in our last lesson, last um, broadcast, we talked about the place of the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, there can be no new beginning. So it is essential that we learn to fellowship with him. We learn to follow him, to follow his guidance, to listen to him and um, to, to develop our intimacy and our relationship with him. Well, I want us to um, look at one more thing today, and that's the place of expectation, what we believe, what we expect. In the book of Jeremiah, this is one of the prophets of the Old Testament. He said in 20, Jeremiah 29 verse 11, he said, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, they are thoughts of peace, thoughts of good, and not of evil, to bring you to an expected end. Do you know what you expect will determine in every situation of life what you actually experience? Expectation is the key to experience. So today I want to encourage you regarding your expectation. Expectation is also tied with what we believe, our faith, how we, what we think is going to happen, what we believe is going to happen in the future. Whether or not we believe the promises of the word of God, whether or not we believe that God has something better. Like we learned from Isaiah 43 in the last broadcast, he said he's going to do a new thing. Whether or not we believe that determines how much of that good that God wants to do in our lives we can actually experience. So I want to encourage you today um, um, to stir up your expectation. Several years ago, um, earlier on in my Christian faith, um, I listened to um, uh, a lady by the name of um, uh, Coletta Vaughn. I think she's a bishop and I think she's in Detroit, but I actually attended a service where she was ministering all the way back there in Benin City in Nigeria. And she was teaching on, I expect, and I expect, and I expect. And that message radically changed my life. We'll be right back. We have come to bring you the good news. We have come to bring you the good news. Kill and destroy. But Jesus came that you might have joy. And we want to see kill and destroy. Jesus came that you might have joy. Hello and welcome back um, to uh, today's broadcast and podcast, Abundant Life Today. Um, I was talking to you before our break about the power of a new beginning and the place of expectation in achieving all that the Lord has packaged for us in this new season, in this new beginning that he's given to us. As, even as we celebrate in this season the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, I want you to stir up expectation in your heart. I had that message several years ago, it's probably 
uh, well over 25 years ago, uh, Bishop Coletta Vaughan. Uh, and she, she went all over the pulpit uh, just screaming, I expect, and I, have, I expect, I expect, I expect. And I, that just stuck in my spirit. I've not been able to get that off of my heart. Expectation has determined some of the things that the Lord has been able to do in my life. My believing that the Lord is faithful to fulfill his word. Now, in order to stir up expectation in the Word of God, it is absolutely important that we learn to fix our hearts on the Word of God. You've got to learn to believe that God is a good God. That's what the Word of God says. God is a good God and He wants to do you good. So no matter what you've experienced, maybe you've had some disappointment, maybe, maybe you've had some failures, maybe some things have not gone well, or maybe you have done well but not just as well as you would have wanted to, all of that does not matter. If you have expectation in God, the Lord will take you to a higher place and He will take you to the next place that He has prepared for you. In the book of Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 18, the Bible says, Surely there is an end. There is an end and the expectation of the righteous will not be cut off. So whatever you expect, God is committed to fulfill in your heart, in your life. You might feel like today is an end. You might feel like this season or wherever you are right now is an end. But I assure you, it is just a bend in the road. The Lord is guaranteeing you that if you believe in his word and if you expect him to do you good, he will do you good. I'm going to close today's broadcast um, by mentioning briefly the story of a man in Mark chapter 9, that's actually where that popular scripture came from. In Mark chapter 9, chapter 9 verse 23, when the Lord said, to him that believes, all things are possible. To him that believes, all things are possible. Now, this man had experienced some failures. And he had experienced some failures regarding his son's health for so many years. And it just looked like every time he thought something good was going to happen, something negative happened. And he had become conditioned to this failure. But the Lord said to him, to them that believe, all things are possible. So I want to encourage you again, stir up expectation in your heart. Believe that what God has promised is possible and that it will come to fruition in your future. Believe that something good will happen to you and that you will enjoy the blessings of a new beginning in Jesus' name. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you in our next episode of Abundant Life Today podcast and broadcast. Abundant Life Today